what's happened, everybody? One of the questions I get the most is regarding bearings, washers, uh, nylon washers, plastic washers, things like that. So today I want to make a video kind of clarifying the differences, pros and cons to washers, bearings, and bearings of different kinds. So to start, I laid out a couple of the different bearings that we have, as well as a couple of different knives that have those components within them. So if you're looking at it, there's your phosphor bronze washers. These bearings, the smaller ones, are thinner, so they're just smaller stainless steel balls that are in there. The set next to it is the same size as far as the size of the balls are concerned. They're ceramic. Um, the benefit of being ceramic is for corrosion resistance, uh, rolling drag coefficients. I don't know if you're into that whole science-y thing, but it's still a stainless cage going around it and holding it. Uh, this stainless cage, stainless balls, you can see the size difference, a lot thicker, beefier. And then you have the skiff, the skiff made ones. These are ceramic and phosphor bronze. This is great for corrosion resistance, rolling, tension. Uh, if you look at the separation between the balls themselves versus the others, uh, you can see the varying differences in those. Uh, and then this one is, you know, what most of you would be familiar with, I guess would be like a skateboard bearing, but the, it's a race pressed over this. So it's a sealed unit, and it's nice for the fact that uh, corrosion resistance is really good. It's hard to get these to work. No one's really perfected it yet. So these aren't very common. Uh, but yeah, yeah, these, the skiff mains, these are from Alpha Knife Supply, uh, and then these two are from Tie Connector. Uh, you can get them in either or. And then you have the Foster Bronze Washers. So the debate between Foster Bronze Washers and bearings is kind of like Chevy and Ford. Everybody goes back and forth on what's better, what's going to hold up better, what does better in sandy climates and things like that. Um, and I think it all comes down to user opinion mostly, uh, depending on how you maintain your equipment. We'll start with this one. This is the gill. And the, this particular gill has a smaller blade, uh, so with everything being smaller, I chose to go with these just because of the fact there's a smaller ball. Uh, so with the smaller ball, the smaller clearance within there. So those are the smaller bearings. And next, this is the combat folder. Uh, this was designed to just get trashed, to be submerged in sand, things like that. So this is on phosphor bronze washers. A lot less clearance, tighter movement. Um, some people would even say it's like a two-hand open. Smooth, consistent phosphor bronze. And lastly, is this Magnus. This Magnus is on skiff ceramics. So by the way, I milled these. I still maintain low clearance, good rolling resistance, nice, smooth, fires open. So, the difference between these. With phosphor bronze, just imagine here. I'm gonna go over here and grab a blade. You have a blade, you get one of these, you smack it on there just like that. Then, you get the knife handle, and it goes squished in like that. So it's blade, bronze, handle. And that's it. That's the only thing in there. So you put just a light film of grease on this, put that over your blade, get the handle, put that on there, screw that. Uh, it requires no machining on the blade, just needs to be flat. And it also requires no machining on the handle, just needs to be flat. So a lot less machining needs to be done, a lot less precision needs to be taken care of. You just slap these in there. The benefit though, is when these are against the blade, it's really hard for sediment and things like that to get in there. It's also difficult for the blade to develop play over time because there's nowhere to go. It's just smashed in between these. 
over time they are going to rub against each other and kind of wear in, sort of like a valve on an engine. Um, and that's where you get your nice smooth swings, like you have here. Once they break in, it's nice, smooth, consistent, and debris can't get in there. But it does require much less machining. Uh, it's a lot easier to build if you're just starting out in knife making. Um, I think phosphor bronze is the simplest way to go for sure. Now when it comes to bearings, especially where you're milling pockets and things like that, you know, we'll, we'll look at these, these skip made ceramic ones. So you would have your blade grab a lock side here too. Okay. So you have this lock side. You machine this pocket. It has to be perfectly flat and concentric. And then this fits nice inside that circle. Just like that. And then you mill, you can mill a pocket in here, you leave that flat. And then that goes like this. And then you would have another one of these. Just pretend that's in there. Another one of these goes on top. And then you would get the handle. And the handle also has to have a bearing pocket in there. And that would rest over it. Now having those two pockets is going to make sure the alignment of these bearing pockets and the bearings and everything stay nice and tight to the pivot barrel in between. It allows you know, free rolling motion within here, uh, but it also doesn't give a huge amount of space uh, for dirt and sediment to get in there. Um, but it keeps everything together. It just requires you know, one, two, and possibly three or four if you do the other side of the blade. Uh, it requires all that to be machined uh, without any flaws. Again, why it's easier to use these washers, they can compensate for things that are wrong, uh, where when you're doing bearings, you'll definitely notice if you don't have things aligned. So to wrap up, when it comes down to it, phosphor bronze is great if it's gonna be underwater or in sand. Uh, it's still gonna get gritty because you have the detent ball riding on the blade, so it's gonna feel the same, still needs to be rinsed out, requires maintenance. A lot easier to build, way less machining that way. Uh, when you go to bearings, um, you know, I recommend the skiff ones primarily because I brought the R into the ocean and got it buried in sand, brought out and tossed it around a little bit. And those were the, the best as far as rolling resistance uh, and corrosion resistance. Um, but yeah, bearings and washers. Is there a winner? No. Uh, but the more you know.